oh my god, Google did it. I know, I know, you were expecting a flop. Many of you probably weren't even paying attention to this, the sixth in the storied heritage of Pixel phones. But I promise you, this is about as close to perfect as Pixel has ever been. Before I go any further, can we all just please take a moment to squee over how freaking kawaii cute these things are? I mean, just look at them. I haven't seen colors like this since my sister let me have some of her Sanrio Hello Kitty bubblegum back when I was toddling around. On those curves, it's kind of sick to say, but it just feels so good to feel these Pixel phones in your hand. They're so soft to the touch, so rounded, so smooth, so light. And that camera hump, the swoop stoop, it demands your attention and you won't be mad at it. In fact, you're gonna like it. And that's just how Google planned it. There's just so much to love here that when you consider the price for these two phones, it's like, how are you not rushing out to pre-order them right now? I'm talking a $5.99 starting price for the Pixel 6 and an $8.99 starting price for the Pixel 6 Pro. Dude. 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 So, without further ado, let's get into it. These are my top 10 things you need to know about the new Pixel 6. Number one, I just said this, but it bears repeating. The colors! You've got this two-tone design on back that looks like it came from some Pinterest board of Starburst fruit chew hues. And the official translucent cases Google made to fit these phones also allow you to mix and match to your heart's content and even make some new looks. You get to choose from kinda coral and sorta sea foam on the Pixel 6, or in plain human speak, pink and green, and sorta sunny, which is yellow, on the Pixel 6 Pro. Le Google opted to give Pro users two other more boring business-like colors because not everyone can be so down at the conference table. Number two, camera. The cameras. Yes, Jenna Maroney, you would love the cameras on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Google's Pixel line is no slouch when it comes to imaging bragging rights, but we've seen other smartphone makers catch up and then some lately. I'm looking at you, iPhone 13 Pro. But that's okay, because what you'll get with Apple's latest Pro phone is more of a candy-coated, hyper-artificial, insta-ready rolls of shots, which, okay, that's totally fine if you're into that sort of thing, but if you want more natural looking, but no less awesome shots, please turn your attention to the Pixels 6. The low light performance is really something to behold. Oh, and the only reason you'll want to opt for the 6 Pro here of the plain 6 is the telephoto lens with four times optical zoom. By the way, you'll still get great detail with that zoom zoom fun. Number three you can remove people from your otherwise perfect shots. Yes, those horrible, always in the way at the wrong time and place humans can now be magically erased from the captured moments of your life. This is all thanks to that tensor chip inside the Pixel 6, which handles artificial intelligence and machine learning processing. The best part is this feature is dead simple to use. Just review your roll of shots on the Pixel 6 or 6 Pro, tap on edit, Go to tools, and the phone will suggest humans to wipe out. You can also rub them out yourself. Keep in mind, this works best with fewer people and a less complicated scene. Because if you zoom into the shot, you're going to see some weird clone scenery and blurring. Number four. I give you permission to pick one of these up, charge it up at the start of your day, and then leave your charger at home. I mean it. You won't need to plug these phones back in until at least some point early the next day. Of course, if you're constantly glued to the screen, then your mileage may vary. But I'm a pretty hardcore Twitter, text, and Slack user, and I had no problems with more than a day battery life on either one. Number five, you may have noticed there's no notch on the Pixel 6 or 6 Pro and no fingerprint sensor on back, wrecking their gorgeous, blemish-free bodies. That's because Google put the sensor under the display. <gasps> Gasp! And it works! Mostly. I was getting frustrated early on in my testing because it seemed like I either had no fingerprint that the phone could discern, or I wasn't doing it right. Turns out, 
I just needed to let my little finger linger longer than I expected. Number six, a material, a material you. I admit, the name Google gave to the design language permeating the Android 12 UI on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro is a bit of a head scratcher, so allow me to dumb it down for you. Basically, it means you're getting a fast, fluid, colorful, vibrant, and responsive user interface. You can even see it in something as small as how the bubbles around the pin code entry deform when you touch them. The best part about Material U is that it creates a color palette based off of whatever wallpaper you choose to theme the rest of the UI. So, your notification pane, Google Apps, volume controls, clock, and even calculator apps will reflect those colors. Number seven, an assistant, where you want it and how you want it. Google's AI is baked into these phones. That's why it built that in-house Tensor chip. Except it's here in a way that doesn't seem cumbersome to use and is also right up in your face. Don't believe me? Just press the power button. It won't shut off your phone. Instead, it pings the assistant who you tell to power off. Or you can ask whatever. It's basically Google search the AI. The coolest bit of this new assistant, however, is how you can just bark at your phone to answer or decline calls or even stop and snooze alarms. You don't have to be a dork and say, hey Google, to wake the assistant anymore. Thank goodness, because oof. Number eight, there's a babble fish in your messages app. Yes, this one is super helpful if you've got a multi culty group of friends or are traveling abroad and need some seamless automatic translation. With the live translation feature, you can just set the preferred language and type as you normally would in English or whatever other language you choose, and the app will translate that into the messages text field above. It works really well, so long as you're dealing with another Android user. It was harder to get the feature to work with an iPhone using friend of mine. Oh, also, automatic translation is great for the unintentional lulls. You've been warned. Number nine, press one for, nope, sorry, I don't need to melt my mind listening to an endless stream of automated phone menu options anymore. Now, the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro's assistant can do it for you. It'll even create numbered button prompts with descriptions of what they do on screen so you really don't have to pay attention. Keep in mind, this only works for toll-free 1-800 numbers. It won't come up with pre-selected things to say to grandma as she tells you the same story for the 80th time. Number 10, privacy, please. You're kidding yourself if you just fling yourself into any technological situation nowadays without ensuring the proper protection. Dudes, there are cameras and mics in our faces everywhere, and they should only be on when we're specifically using them, not because an app is sneakily spying on us. Good thing then that Android 12 on the Pixel 6 gives you one click permissions access for the mic and camera right from the notification pane. There's even a green dot that'll appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen when either are enabled. If you wanna go deeper into your privacy hole, you can check out the privacy dashboard in settings, which will give you a rundown of what app's been accessing what feature or information on your phone. And you can easily tap through to stop it. I promise, once you realize how easy it is to shut off camera or mic access, you'll wonder why it took this long to become a standard. And that's the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro in a nutshell. They're the best and somehow the googliest of Google phones Google's ever made. Try it, you might like it. If you wanna read more about the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, head over to Mashable.com.